and it is haul time once again and today's haul is brought to you by Kalel Collectibles. I picked up a couple things from this store and I wanted to show them off to you guys. If you live in the Philippines, if you live in the capital region in Manila, particularly in the southern area of the capital, like where I'm from in Montelupa or in Las Piñas or in Parañaque, go check out their Facebook page. They've got a ton of amazing stuff right here. They even have the pre-orders for the HasLab Sentinel, the Marvel Legends Sentinel, which is really a US Canada exclusive. And as rumor has it, Hasbro Asia is literally cutting the release of this figure in Asia. The very, very few stocks going to be released in Asia. So if, if you're if you're like me who lives in the Philippines, very little chance of getting this one. If you want to secure a spot, and yeah, it's slightly a little bit higher than the normal rates, which includes already shipping and tax. Go check out their pre-order. They got a m more amazing stuff right here coming to you. And even a Power Rangers. They got a boatload. Almost everything you can think of, think of in the collectible world. So go check them out. Cal-El Collectibles. And to start things off, first thing I picked up from Kal-El Collectibles is this. The perfect effect. PDX11 Honor Warrior. It coincides with their 10th anniversary and as such, this figure comes with a giveaway. That huge, huge Energon sword. I'd like to give a big shout out to everybody, to all the admin and wreckers of Ayakon City PH. Christian, Jay, Nico, Joshua, all of us picked up the same item from Kalel Collectibles and we're just big fans of Optimus Prime and I cannot wait to review this figure for you guys. He's looking awesome. I don't pick up a lot of third party figures, but this one was really something else and I thought it was great. All right, and next up is this. These are the only things I picked up, but uh, you can probably guess what this is. This is a sealed, complete case or box of the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series. Series 2 for 2020. Let's crack this one open. I'm hoping that everyone, every figure I got has no quality issues. I mean, me and my bad luck with Hasbro, I'm hoping that at least the Count Dooku, which I'm hoping is here, and maybe the two other Jedi, hopefully they're here, have no issues. So first thing we got, Anakin Skywalker, the Padawan figure in his uh, usual brooding face sculpt. So there should be two of these. So if I get uh, another one, if I get one that's not too good. I can just have a fallback on another one. The, this one, both of them look amazing. Okay, so that's Anakin. Next up is this guy. Oh my goodness, I've been itching to get this figure. This is Plo Koon. One of my favorite Jedis actually in the Clone Wars and in the prequel trilogy, so yeah. And this one is supposedly a double as well. So we're gonna get two of them per case, per case. And uh, things are looking good, actually. I don't see any quality issues. So far, so good. So half of the case done, nothing to it, right? Okay, here we go. Um, these figures, the last remaining figures are one per case. And I'm really, really hoping they're pretty good. So first up, Count Dooku, okay. Both lightsabers, or at least the blade effects are there. The head sculpt looks pretty good. No quality issues. Okay, I think I got lucky with this one. Okay, next up, Kit Fisto. Another favorite Jedi of mine from the Clone Wars and prequel trilogy. Everyone's saying there's a paint variation for this figure. I'm not entirely sure what that means. This one looks good. Got the lightsaber. Hardly any issues on first inspection, so very lucky. Next up is this guy. 
the battle droy ah this is probably the figure i was least interested in i'm not even sure if i'm going to do a review of this figure no. take nothing away from this figure this is one of the best black series figure modes i've ever seen if you've seen my review of the original battle droid i really praise this figure so done in the red version okay and lastly obi-wan kenobi in episode two and the uh, face sculpt looks pretty good hardly any paint issues on the white paint apps on his tunic mm, lightsabers there so far so good okay pretty good all right i guess i got lucky so there you go folks i hope you enjoyed my little toy haul from Kalel Collectibles. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of these figures and which figures are you excited most for me to review. And as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.